So today we're trying something special here. We're loading some 030 0.8 millimeter silicone bronze wire into the Propulse 200 and put some straight argon gas on it with a really long post flow and pre flow time. And we're trying to weld, brace, pulse, silicone, make brace on this Akrapovich titanium exhaust and see how this turns out for us. From everything I've heard or seen, stainless steel as well as titanium should technically and theoretically be braceable with silicone bronze. However, everybody knows the challenges welding on titanium. It really requires a very good shielding gas coverage, straight argon, some people believe you need a perch chamber. I don't think so. Years ago, I had some very interesting conversation with somebody else on YouTube who is a far superior stick and possibly tick welder than I am. And um, I will include some of his clips for educational purposes here and see if we can shine some light on what it really takes to weld titanium. Although some of this looks like slow motion, and it is, the welding actually is the exact speed one to one as it was welded. Once the flame extinguishes and the product is shown, the weld is shown, that's when it's slowed down so you can get a good look at the finished weld. So this is sped up quite a bit here and although it feels like I'm taking rather large breaks in between I want to call it tacks you don't want to make any weld that's like longer than like quarter inch at the most at the beginning there I got a little bit lucky but what happens if you weld too fast see this crack right there as it cools down it just stress cracks right there so now what I do here is I'm um, this is also highly sped up here I really take my time in between tacks, I let it all cool That's down so I get to a point where I have a 10 second post flow, a 2 second pre flow on parts and other parts half a second pre flow. So I'm always in an argon shielded atmosphere. I have my amperage set way down 43 amps to weld this here and um, as I make those tacks here nothing further cracks on me anymore and uh, it's turning out alright. Now this is the footage that I earlier talked about. So what this guy does here is he's TIG welding straight DC with the foot pedal number 8 cup and he's welding titanium in his shop without a trailing shield not in a perch chamber just like on a positioner and the way how this works you see it like flare up and then it's like way down so what he does is he gives it like a burst and melts like one ripple like one dime in the stack of dimes of the filler rod off and this entire time here that I'm talking and that you're watching this in real time he's maybe covering three-eighths of an inch linear distance weld where he um, does this fill pass here and the colors are absolutely mint so he's proven that he can weld titanium without a perch chamber and still get the right colors and still not mess with the properties so if I would have some time and the opportunity to work on titanium a little, titanium a little bit more often I can probably um, even brace titanium outside of perch chamber fairly successful. Here is an arc shot from
from um, the root that he's done on that pipe before and uh, same technique there it flares up he's getting one little dot of weld in there then he waits lets everything solidify and cool and then he was welding again I mean this guy he's just an absolute master of his trade he he does this all the time he has certifications for titanium stuff that that the regular guy will never touch I mean I was thankful I got the opportunity to weld on this exhaust but I mean he does this for for a living now I believe even pulse mic brazing can be done successfully on titanium the key really is speed you need to slow yourself down this is not a race against the clock you need to take your sweet time you need to let it cool in between do really short runs with really great gas coverage and maybe even walk away after every little eighth inch quarter inch weld that you make and just let it sit let it cool so it doesn't stress crack and it can turn out all right okay you're good there good there and I'll put the uh, fill metal I'm gonna try and get it, get it through. Okay, I'll spin it, hold it there. I'll spin it for a minute.